Hello and welcome my friend and today I am planning to give you almost secret that how I can tow and do this car towing to my Toyota Corolla car because these modern cars these are very complex because if we like to use this towing hook like in that one or in that one what we can found in this Toyota Corolla car today's this installation is more complex but my friend I will tell to you that how we can install these parts and let's go to firstly look that where we can find these devices okay and this is really from this my new Toyota Corolla car and there is really two towing towing hook hooks where I can connect my this rope or cable if I like to tow my dead car and can you believe new Toyota Corolla includes two high quality towing hooks and let's go to look that where we can find those hooks in my Toyota Corolla car okay and now we are in this Toyota Corolla's rear trunk area and there is this this cover in this bottom area and there is hook and when I lift up there is now in two days there is no any spare and emergency feel these are only devices what we have in new Toyota Corolla can you believe no any jack no any crane and actually there is one this electric this feel and tire electric pump it is also in here but these are today's Toyota Corolla's tools in here and this is really true there is no any feel no any feel socket or no any another tools in here but there are those towing hooks and then this emergency triangle what we can also look later and there are really is my towing hooks and now we have to think that why we have two of these this is really interesting but I think that one of these widths in front and one of these widths in rear really interesting and then we go to install these things okay and then best part of that story where we can find these connections and those installation points for these towing hooks this one that where i can install this and this is really secret and very difficult job in first time this is like almost la difficult like to fly in these white fighter planes in first time without any experience but then flying is easy when we have good teacher okay and now we go to look that where we can find these positions okay and now when we are really looking for this right position this owner's manual says that in that area there is small area where i can open part and install this device in here but when we look that area in that specific area in this right side in here it is really difficult to see anything in here and this is really interesting that Toyota they have made this almost like secret secret to find that position and I will show that place to you because this was difficult to find 
and especially in night time, this is almost impossible. Okay, and now when we look in that area, I think that maybe in this area is this opening position. No, there is this my car's heater and electric connector. And then I noticed that in here there are very small dots in this pillow area. And this was the secret, but in here we don't see anything in here. But in that area there is the solution. And let's go to look at how we can open this place. Okay, and now when we are looking in here, in this side area, in that area there is two small dots in here, very hidden. We can see those only in this pillow area and it takes a couple of minutes to myself to find these small holes. And let's go to look closer in here that what they are. Okay, and now we can see those holes in just, just. There is this part in here. This hole in here and second in here. Can you believe? They are so small in here and very difficult to see in here. And I firstly thought that this my opening position is that one, but no, this is like this electric heater in this car where I can install electricity, this engine heating. But in here there is really two of those very small holes. And now when I open this, I have to carefully bend that in here and then this part opens this way and I have to little bit open also this up area and then finally this part opens. And this is really interesting Toyota's engineering that this was so difficult to find. Can you see those very thin slots in here? Maybe this covers engineering is made by some young Japanese engineering, not with a with couple of years experience. Because this is too complex to find like normal people. But now when I show that place to you, now you can also take that away and notice that there are those clamps. Do not broke this because otherwise this part can drop to ground. But of course, if you lost that cover, you can go to visit in Toyota dealership center and they can order new spare part. New spare part, this cover. And then we look that inside area, because there is this our towing hooks, this hole. Okay, and now when we are looking in the inside area, there is this hole, and in this hole, I have to install this my steel towing hook in, in that way. And now I rotate that. And there is idea that I have to rotate that so long time that this rotation stops. Okay, and now I rotate that. It is about 20 times. And now when this stops, then we have next step is that we have to tighten this bolt using some tool because now we have only that tool in this, in this direction. Okay, and now this my cover drops to ground. And now this my cover drops and notice that there is small installation hook what goes in that hole in here. That one. This keeps there Or then this drops to ground. Okay, I, la I later install this back in here. But now this towing hook is ready for lifting. And we can install in here this rope. Okay, and here we have this towing rope. And I can connect this rope in here in that way. And then I can start to pull this my car. And I can connect this in like 
another car. And this is this towing hook's purpose. And then when we are finished, I can take this rope away and I can remove this, this towing hook in that way. I can also use some bigger tools like screwdriver. If I have like longer screwdriver, this is much easier to open and tight. And now I remove this my bolt. Okay, now it's free. And then we have left this interesting cover installation. And it happens firstly that there is this safety hook. And firstly I I check that in what way this way it goes. Firstly I install this part in here. I press this area through that hole. If I okay, now it's in position. Good. This part. And then these small clamps. That one, that one, that one, and in here. They goes in these holes. Firstly, I install this line in here, and then final part is that I press this in this way. Great. And now this cover is in position, and this this front area towing hook is ready. And then we go to check this rear area's towing hook position and installation. Okay, and now we are in this rear areas pumper and I have already opened this towing hook hole and now I show that how we open that and normally we can see only that kind of small cover and this part's installation is a little bit difficult because now we need this flathead screwdriver and in this new Toyota Corolla we don't have any tools and we have to purchase this tool or use some old tool and then carefully when I install in that corner in here there is small dot in this area in that area and idea is that I install this flathead screwdriver and I flip a little bit and now I have to be careful that I don't hurt this my paint. And now I think that I need even smaller tool screwdriver. Okay, and we really need now very thin flathead screwdriver. And idea is that I install this my tool in here. And then I a little bit bend that in this way away. This is the difficult thing. And look at how thin this my flathead screwdriver is. And now this part opens and if we use too much force then we can damage this paint. And now there is this hole ready and next we install in there is my towing hook. Okay. And now when I have two of these towing hooks, longer and shorter, I can firstly test this longer one. And this fits of course in here. And we can use this longer or then this shorter. And now I in, I I tight this bolt in here and now this rear area towing hook is in ready. And I can connect this my towing rope in here in that way and now this my car is ready for lift or tie. Okay and then of course when we are ready I take this my rope away and now I have a little bit better high quality screwdriver and you can purchase these kind of tools from Home Depot store in USA. Home Depot is excellent quality store and now I open this is opening direction in that way and then I rotate that my towing bolt away and good and final part is to install this locking 
plates, these areas, it, this goes only in one way in here. Note, this way, not in that area. And now it goes in there and then only a little bit press. Okay, good. And now this job is ready. And now I believe that you have also installed these things in your car. And in emergency case, you can install this your towing hook in that position and you can maybe tow like battery car like Tesla to service. Because normally these Toyota Corollas they works always. Always and, and that's we don't need normally this towing in Toyota Corolla cars. But it is good that we have this towing positions in rear and this front area. Okay, thank you my friend and see you in next movie.